Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Koki Creative. My name is Elena and I'm a part of the EA Creator Network. Today we're doing a speed build. This build is called 23 Eucalyptus Lane. It costs 74,000 simoleons and it's on a 30 by 20 lot in San Sequoia. It's three beds, two baths, and it's actually much bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside. I made it for a family, so I used a lot of family related packs. I used Growing Together, High School Years, and Parenthood. I also used Get Famous too, which isn't really a family related pack, but I used it because I really love the blue siding and I just couldn't find another siding I liked better. Suburban homes have always been one of my go-to styles. It just is easy. It makes sense for me, especially since I grew up in a suburb in America, mostly in the 90s and 2000s, but these builds that I create are always more of a glamorized version of the real thing. Every time I try to make a house that kind of looks more realistic or beaten down, I always have to <laughs> add a little bit of flair to it and make it look a little bit more special or done up than the real thing. But I think that's one of the fun stuff about The Sims is you can kind of do whatever you want, make it as pretty as you want or or as run down as you want. But this house, I really do like the way it turned out. I actually used this shell of this house to build another house that had a second story, so I added on to it. But I really love this version. It has a really great layout and I do plan on playing on this one. I have it in my personal save file. It's just they don't have enough money to live in it yet. It's not that expensive, but it's a new save. So, you know, I don't like to use money cheats. I really enjoy the struggle. <laughs> We're less than two minutes in. I've already finished the roof, but I did want to say that roofing is one of my favorite parts of the builds. I've said this in multiple speed builds and people always are like, you're crazy, but I just really enjoy it. Floor plans are the thing that take me a long time, not roofing, but what I really like about roofs is that you can add so much curb appeal with it. You can play around with the different shapes and you can use roofing for other things other than roofs. But what I do want to say is that I love the way this roof turned out. I used a lot of different types of roofing um, to play around with. And yeah, so that is something that I always encourage people to try more of. Go outside of your comfort zone, just mess around. Even if it looks horrible, it's good to just practice something new. For the landscaping, I kept it very basic. I didn't want to do too much. I didn't want it to be super overgrown. And one reason why I did that was because I wanted to see if I could make a build look good without overgrown landscaping. Sometimes I use my overgrown landscaping as a crutch um, to because I just know it'll turn out and I just end up doing the same thing every single time. So I wanted to do something more basic to see if I liked it. And I do like it. It feels like it makes sense with this build. This build wouldn't have a super overgrown garden or anything like that. It's a family house. I mean, the parents probably don't have enough time to maintain an overgrown garden. Well, I guess if it's overgrown, then it wouldn't be maintained. Anyway, this is me messing around with the little pathway. Sometimes I like to add something like this because it just makes it feel a little bit more homey. I can just imagine like the kids going around to the backyard to go play after school. Anyway, we are continuing the landscaping here. I'm just keeping a lot of stuff in this video. I've decided to kind of slow my speed builds down a little bit more, show some of my mistakes and some of my trial and error things, because uh, most of the time what I show is only the things that are successful. I have clipped out a few things that I'm like, I just want to save some time. But most of the time when I'm building, I try like five different swatches of something, a couple of different items. Sometimes I'll start building something with tool. I hate it bring it all down and then use the most basic item to replace it. But I just like to experiment is what I'm trying to say. And I try to edit a lot of that stuff out of there because I don't want to waste anyone's time. But I have, um, especially with these smaller builds, wanting to slow down a little bit, show a bit more of my process. Maybe some people get some ideas from my videos. Um, I feel like there's a lot of different people that watch my videos, some people that maybe get ideas for them to build, and then sometimes people just want to download my stuff. And hey, everyone's welcome here. I always love getting little messages or something like that from someone saying that they downloaded my build and they're having so much fun playing in it, because that is like the most flattering thing that anyone can say. When I was a kid, I dreamed of being an artist. And I know this isn't exactly art, but it's like, it's sort of an art. So this is kind of my medium is Sims builds. I mean, I enjoy it and I can also play them when I'm done. So they're sort of useful as well. 
Uh, I try to also use a lot of the landscaping that meshes well with the exterior, um, the world around it. Um, I try to have it all like blend seamlessly. So I always like to check out to see what trees the neighborhood has and what kind of bushes and flowers. I do add my own flowers and stuff too, just because I figured, I mean, Sims will plant their own plants too. It's not like they have to only use wild flowers that grow naturally. Now I'm working on the floor plan and I don't always include floor plan creation in my videos because I, again, trial and error. This is one of the things that changes about a thousand times before I settle on something. But I would love to make more videos that highlight the floor plan simply because I know how I struggle with it. So uh, it would be great for maybe some people to get inspiration. And I do like my floor plans. It's not like I think they're bad. It's just, it just takes me a while to mess around and see because there's like a thousand no I don't even want to say a thousand different combinations there's probably unlimited amount of combinations that you can make in a build to create a floor plan so for this build in particular I wanted the floor plan to be really great for a family so I have this long hallway that kind of leads to some bedrooms and bathrooms sometimes I like to have it a hallway so that way there aren't just a ton of doors in the living room I wanted it to be its own little section so adding that hallway is like a buffer between the living space and the bedrooms and I did squeeze in a couple of bedrooms in this. I'm kind of glad that I was able to do that. Right here I'm placing down different items in each bedroom and this is just sort of like a place marker. Sometimes I stick with the beds that I choose or the place markers. I'm just going to call them that that I choose. But then um, a lot of the times I also change either the swatch or the the whole style in its of itself. So Oh, sorry, I've been so tongue-tied today. <laughs> um, this is a new day. Hi. Um, I wasn't able to finish the voiceover in one sitting. I only got six minutes in, but now it's a new day. I'm a little tongue-tied, but that is a-okay. Um, so now I'm choosing the wall colors, and it seems like I am now fully inside the house. Here's the thing. I built this like uh, months ago, so I'm trying to remember exactly the process in which I built this. Sometimes I do, um, I'll do like most of the exterior and then I hop inside, do the floor plan, and then I finish the exterior after I kind of put some stuff down. Um, but sometimes I get really inspired. See, I haven't finished the backyard. So I'm just, uh, when I put some items down, sometimes I'm like, oh, I can kind of see how the rest of the room goes. So I might as well place a few more items down and give myself a leg up for when I am ready to tackle the inside. And my problem is interiors. That's kind of when I give up on a build. It's uh, one of those things that I, I start out with a lot of ambition. And I'm like, yeah, I want to make a mansion. This is great. And then when I get inside, uh, it becomes extremely overwhelming. But I can usually finish the exterior. So we're now in the backyard and I'm using some of these base game planters. I love these things. You can also plant plants directly into the ground. I just like to put these here to give you um, like an understanding of what that area is for. So if you download this and you just want to place stuff in the ground, that's also an option. I just think the planters are kind of cute. I kind of also the um, straight in a line kind of mimics the shrubs in the front, like the three. I don't know um, if a couple months ago, Elena, when building this, if that was intentional with the garden planters and the three shrubs in the front, but I'm going to say that it was like... Um, a high school English teacher trying to say that everything in a book has a metaphor or a meaning. That's what I'm going to say <laughs> in my builds. Everything has a meaning when really most of the time it's just like what I'm feeling. Uh, so this is like some more kids areas. Uh, and I, this is not a huge lot. I think this is like a 30 by 20. Um, don't quote me on that. I think I said the size of this lot earlier. If not a 30 by 20, it's a 30 by 40. It's not huge. I don't have a lot of space, but I still wanted there to be kids activities. There's so many kids toys and activities that I never use because frankly, when it comes down to it, I want to make sure that there is skill building activities for them. So like an art table and uh, a violin and uh, maybe one of those little lab sets. But I always forget about these large outdoor objects. So I'm glad that I was able to make space for them. And you really have to carve out space for them. I can't just like add that last minute or like that giant um, pirate ship um, outdoor place set. I like that thing. But oh my god, if I have only 30 by 20 on a lot, I can't add that massive thing in the backyard. So 
Anyway, um, I'm trying to add more of those is what I'm trying to say. So here I'm adding a couple more bushes. Now those can also be used as a toilet. So I kind of like that they are multi-purpose. And you know what? When I do have those in a lot that I play, I use them all the time. My Sims do. I'm like, well, if they can't make it to the bathroom, at least I have these bushes outside. Um, hopefully the neighbors won't use them, but... Um, you can always delete them if you need to. <laughs> so I'm now kind of moving on the inside. I feel pretty happy with the exterior, with the backyard. It has a little bit of gardening and some kids' activities, as we have covered. Also, a barbecue area, which is pretty much a staple in all of my builds. I don't know why. It's just like, well, of course they have to have a grill, even though not every single house in the world has a grill, but every single house in The Sims has a grill. At least that is my take, even though is the downside of grill is that whenever I enter a lot there's always a sim that's just grilling away and like not half the time I would say like five percent of the time they end up starting a fire so it is a risk that I am willing to take but just be mindful that I, fires happen I do try to keep the grills away from anything that might catch on fire just so that way I don't like murder anyone's sims like I would hate that I'm sorry if I um if I caused any of that to happen I'm really trying to keep your sims happy and healthy or like I guess if I made like a scary dungeon I hope I do cause mayhem but in this case this little happy family home we don't want any fires unless if that's part of your story but here I am working in the living room. I went with a bit more of a well this is growing together's uh style it's kind of like that family suburban um i'm looking for a word right now i'll think of it later craftsman style there we go a little bit craftsman which i love that style i think it's um, very beautiful i love all the like intricate details that you get inside of a craftsman style house it's definitely something that i would not mind living in in real life i think that would be just absolutely lovely especially with big old trees in the front yard and just so pretty. Anyway, so I went with um, lots of blues, maybe a little bit of teals, um, just very calming colors. I, I mean, the exterior is blue, so I thought I would use a lot of different blue hues. And I also added a lot of family clutter because that just made sense. I love that there is these like little puzzle boxes and more stacks of clutter because I personally, I love that stuff. It makes it feel more homey, realistic. I know my house growing up had a lot of just junk lying around like kids toys and stuff like that I did my best to um clean up but oh so here I am changing uh, the monkey bars to a swing set because I saw that and I was like oh my gosh there's no way I can't put that in the backyard if you're um wanting to change it back to the monkey bars go right ahead it fits them but I just really love that swing set I think it's so pretty I had a swing set growing up but it was one of those like metal kind uh, with the plastic chairs, um, I had a little slide, the little rings that you hold on to and hang. I used to go out in my swing set and play Mulan by myself. Like I would pretend I was Mulan and like swing on the stuff and like pretend I was like <laughs> getting strong to fight. Um, so yeah, so that was my swing set experience as a child. Uh, so now we're back just playing around with some more clutter. I added uh, more surfaces to put clutter on. So I tried to still make it look like they were decorating and things were intentional, not just like putting junk everywhere, trying to make it look really messy. Like these parents um, and this family, they want to keep their house at least presentable. They probably have like family friends that come over, come over often. Man, sometimes I like stumble over my words so sorry about that uh so we have some more clutter that came with that uh growing together pack and sometimes i still want to say the new growing together pack which uh, it's not new that came out like over a year ago at this point my goodness um but i really want more of that kind of stuff i want more stuff that i can fill up a bookcase with and i do use a lot of debug items and books but sometimes I just feel like I want some simple stuff I don't I just does that make sense like just like a ball like give me like a ball that comes in multiple colors or like a vase that just comes in multiple colors like it's just a plain 
just simple, just give me stuff that I can put on a shelf and it matches with everything. Sometimes I think like the decorative items are like so specific that um, they just don't always go together well. Even like I wouldn't mind just getting a plank of wood um, that isn't debug I mean maybe they could put it in debug that's better than the plank of wood that you can use tool mod on if all this doesn't make any sense to you debug is a cheat that you can access a ton of different items I'm using a lot of debug items um, actually not a ton in this build but um, there uh, it's a cheat anyway I have some tutorials on it so uh, tool mod is a mod that I use to help rotate resize elevate just a whole bunch of stuff so the thing about tool mod is it doesn't work on every single item and a lot of the uh, plain items that you can find in debug you can't use tool mod on so I would love to have like a pack and I know they're not going to do this and it wouldn't sell well uh, but I would love to have like a pack of like basic shapes that I can like build stuff with because um, I like to take debug items and like build little furniture out of it like a little basket or something that's not going to happen but you know in in a dream of mine it would be like um build your own furniture kind of pack but like actually customized furniture not just like the fabrication machine that you like craft a couch that it's always going to be that couch I want to like actually craft it I want to actually build it um think of like if you've ever played spore how you build a car and how you build buildings if you don't know you can either just not care and not look it up or you can look it up if you don't know and I'm sure there's videos of it online but you can literally build objects um by like yeah moving it around it's really cool uh, let me get back to this build so this is the toddler slash kids bedroom I feel like you can easily transfer this bedroom for, from a nursery all the way up to a kid's room it could definitely still work for a teenager but I think you would want to update the design uh, before then but I kind of wanted to make it fun some dinosaurs also they're kind of into aliens too but the color scheme is orange navy blue a little bit of green and I kept the walls kind of a gray so that way it would all blend together really well it's really hard sometimes to color match correctly when the walls are just a, like a really vibrant color like I'm extremely picky about like like, the two dinosaurs sitting next to each other, actually, that's a unicorn, piggy bank, and the dinosaur toy. Like, those two blues I wouldn't usually put next to each other. I did because it's a kid's room, but, like, they kind of, in a way, clash to me. But if the theme is just colorful, whatever, I'll, I'll just let it slide. <laughs> I'm just picky about, like, different, like, old pinks. I hate when, like, a magenta pink is next to, like, a pale pink. Well, sometimes it works, but, like, uh, I just like my colors to kind of match well and sometimes in the sims because there isn't a color wheel it's like slightly off oh when it's slightly off it just it bugs me but I love color and I, I'm not going to not use color and I'm sorry if sometimes my stuff is slightly off I see it too I just really want to use color because that's just who I am I'm a colorful person <laughs> this is the bathroom um, and I love the set the bathroom set that comes with growing together that's one of my favorite bathroom sets please can we get more of them I would love more shower tub combos something that is two tiles and I can just shove in a little two tile spot like this my favorite size bathroom and you're going to notice this from now on in all my builds is a three by two so exactly what you see there because it fits a shower tub combo sink and toilet like perfectly I can do other sizes and I have done other sizes, but if I'm going to have a quick bathroom ad, it's going to be a three by two every time. It's just easy. And then if I have a mansion, I'm going to copy and paste all those bathrooms. I'm not going to build those multiple times. You don't need to. A toilet's a toilet. <laughs> like <laughs> I'll try the first time I build it. I'll try to make it cute, but um, I'm copy and pasting it for the rest of the time. So this is the twins bedroom. It's purple. It's super cute. Um, I love making twin stuff. I think um, I think it's just super like cute. I don't know. <laughs> Whenever I have twins in The Sims, I'm always so excited. Uh, purple because um, I was just saw a lot of cute purple items, and um, I think that bed was the thing that inspired me. I think that bed is super cute. That came with an update like a year, 
oh my God, maybe two, two years ago. I don't know. It feels new to me still, but I love that pattern. It came with the babies came out. So uh, whenever that was, and I kept with this purple scheme, scheme theme, because I just like, I think um, subconsciously I was thinking about the twins from the Simpsons who like do everything together and they're purple. So I think that's kind of where I got this like purple um, idea also in my head. I don't know. So these lights, what are the, what, what do I want to call these neon lights on the wall? Just they were flat and they were going behind the posters and I didn't like how that made them look flat. So I used to them out on them to bring them forward ever so slightly so that they were so that way they weren't clipping behind the posters. I just really didn't like the way that looked. So and here now I'm just looking at everything that's purple. If you can see in the filter bar down below, I have the purple filter on. This is like my favorite way to find color items that I'm looking for. It just makes it so much faster. A lot of time I'll just like pull out a lot of items that I like and then I kind of dress it up later. Like here I'm just sort of like sloppily putting it down and then I will kind of readjust as needed. That rug is super cute. I'm pretty sure it's from high school years um, and I would take that in real life. I really like purple. It's one of my top three favorite colors. I don't know. I People are like, what's your favorite color? I can't answer that. I don't know. What, what am I in the mood for? What, what am I looking at? My favorite color for what? I can't just answer something that's that. I love every color. Colors are amazing. And <laughs> there's a different color for every occasion. So um, purple is, though, one of my favorites. So if you are looking for an answer today, purple is one of my favorite colors. Maybe number one at this moment. Maybe because I'm looking at a ton of purple right now, but whatever. So uh, I'm using the tool mod here to place some robes on the side of the cabinet not cabinet uh the dresser like there's little hooks I just thought that would be a nice use of space there's a ton of things hanging off the wall at the moment we got these curtains there wasn't a lot of wall space so I didn't want to take up a ton of wall space with robes so thought the next the best idea was to kind of tuck them away on the side of the dresser and um you know, I'm just trying to find art it's like a kid's room like I want this to be a good transition room from a child to teen sometimes I make something that looks a little too kid like and it doesn't transition well into when they're a teenager and then you have to redecorate the room so something that kind of works for both and now we're on the parents bedroom this room um I don't know how to describe it but like I was friends in elementary with this girl who her parents were like these worldly traveling people and they lived like kind of like in this older craftsman style slash Victorian. I mean, I was a kid, so I'm having a hard time remembering the style, but I always loved their house. But this bedroom is slightly based off of the vibe I got from their bedroom. <laughs> it just their house was like older and it was so cool. I, I grew up in um, a new build. Like it was built for our family and it didn't have a lot of character. It was, you know, like I said, a sub suburban house in a cookie cutter neighborhood. And this house, like her house had so much, like her mom had a sewing room that was attached to the bedroom. It And it had fabric and the sewing, it was so cool. Okay. It was cool. Um, so <laughs> this does not even come close to what that bedroom looked like, but I still wanted to have this like kind of we travel um, vibe. Like they're a little bit hippies, not the right word, but you get it. Uh, so <laughs> I'm imagining this house is probably built like it's over 100 years old, but they have since um, redecorated it like since refurbish the outside and the inside so it doesn't look that old um even though I'm looking at it now it looks kind of like a new build but whatever just go along with it for me okay <laughs> so I added this like little sitting area here to watch tv in the parents bedroom because there was this huge awkward space I didn't know what to do with it I thought I could add an office I could add um like a, maybe a piano but I thought just like um maybe a place where the parents can kind of sit down away from the kids watch tv it just um, made sense because not that this has a ton of bedrooms, but it's not a huge house with already um, three kids. Yeah, so just a little space for the parents to kind of get away, have a nice time. 
But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this build. Um, if you like this video, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. But you all have a very nice day, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye!